Okay guys, ang maaaralin natin ngayon is all about the layers of the earth. Okay, so usually, ganito ko sa ang itsura ng layers ng earth natin. We have here yung uh, crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core. Okay. Now, what are the layers of the earth? Okay, compare natin yung layers ng earth sa, for example, sa kiwi, kiwi fruit. So, if we're going to describe this one, parang ganito rin yung layers ng earth natin. First, meron tayong crust, yun yung pinakaibabaw. Followed by, yung nasa, nasa kasunod ng crust is our mantle. Okay. Followed by what you called our outer core. And last is our inner core. So, meron tayong pat, apat na layers ng ating earth. Okay. So, aralin natin sa isa-isa. Let us start with the uh, crust. Okay. So, when we say crust, siya yung thinnest layer of our earth. So, siya yung pinaka, kung nasan tayo nakapesto, crust yan. Siya daw yung pinakamanipis na layer ng earth. So, uh, crust is built up of uh, is built up of rocks and solid minerals. Okay. Followed by the mantle. Okay. So, yung mantle is the largest layer and lies between the core and the crust. So, meron tayong crust. Ito yun. Ito yung ating mantle. Nasa pagitan daw siya ni core tsaka ni crust. Okay. So, what are the compo uh, composition of mantle? So, mantle is made up of oxygen, iron, and silicate iron. Okay. Yan yung composition niya. Okay, what makes uh, mantle unique? Bakit naging kakaiba si mantle? Unang-una siya kasi ang largest layer. And aside from that, si mantle guys, hindi siya liquid. Okay, it is however ductile or plastic, which means that on a very long time scales and, other, and under pressure it can flow. Hindi siya liquid pero kaya niyang mag-flow. Okay, yun yung pagiging unique ni Mantel. Okay? Hindi siya liquid ha, guys ha. Clarify lang natin. Pero ductile siya. And plastic. So, alam niyo naman yung karakteristik na ganun. Okay? Kaya niya mag-flow under pressure. Okay, yun yung pagiging unique ni Mantel. Next. So, we have here the outer core. Now, si core, nakati sa dalawa. We have the inner core and the outer core. Let us have first yung outer core. Okay. Of all the layers of earth, si outer core lang ang liquid. Okay. Although yung pressure na kay mantle, hindi siya liquid. Ha? Ang only layer that is liquid is our outer core. So, ang temperature dito guys is extremely heat. Uh, hot. So, sobrang init. It ranges from uh, 4,500 to 5,500 degrees Celsius. So, imagine niyo kung gano'ng kainit. Okay, yung kumukulong tubig lang is 100 degrees Celsius na. Imagine niyo pa yan. Okay. And also, our outer core nag-spins yan. Okay, umiikot siya. In what way? Westward. Okay? Pag spin niya is westward. So, westward. Ganun. Papuntang west. Pag ganyan ang pag spins niya. Okay. Next. Last is what you call the inner core. So, ang inner core natin, it is composed of iron and nickel. Okay? Iron and nickel. So, purong bakal yan. Iron tsaka nickel. So, kung kung baka yan, automatic, that is solid. Okay. It spins faster than the surface of the earth. 
So, eto, si inner coordinate daw ay nag spin Umiikot. On what direction naman siya? Eastward, kabalik ka rin siya ni outer core. Ang pag-spin niya ay mas mabilis kaysa sa planet Earth natin. Now, why is it ang trabaho ng mga minor ay delikado? Napakasimple lang. Sa ilalim ng lupa, nandun lahat ng movement ng Earth natin. Okay, so, onting galaw lang sa ating crust. Definitely, magiging delikado sa kanila yan kasi baka madaganan sila, eh, mabagsakan ng mga gubuhong lupa. Okay, kaya huwag niyong malitin yung trabaho ng mga minero. Okay, risky yung mga trabaho.